She's in. Well, it's always nice to get off the mark with a nice pipe, especially when the sun's out. Yeah, I would think it's probably it's a double. Probably it? a double. We'll uh, we'll get it on the mat and get it sorted out. There we go. She's absolutely gorgeous. Look at her. Give you 11 for that. Yeah. Spots of yellows and gold. Gorgeous fish. It's in nice condition. She's got a few splits on her fins, but old river warrior. Show you what we're using here down the bottom end. I've just got a sardine on some, just some standard snap tackle, and then uh, for me up trays, I've got I think that's 40 pound wire with rig tubing over it. Just so if the fish rolls up, it doesn't cut into the fish. Um, it makes your uptrace last a little bit longer as well. And then on there I've just got a sliding bullet. And we've got a buffer bead with a, a big chunky float just because I'm pretty blind. I like to see the float. And then we've got a, just a normal sliding bead. And up the top there. Float stop. So just simple float gear really. Just slop it down there. Fish right in the edge. A bit of a hole there. So. Do you want me to net it? Yeah, I can't. There you go. You can pay for That's my first one of the day. That's took on a trout over deck float right out the edge, so you reckon Joe? Eight? Eight or nine? nine. Yeah. Lovely. Let's get her back. Okay. Straight down. Big fish. No. 
No? Been in the water 20 seconds after the last one. <laughs> She's in. Trace is out. I've unclipped it in the net, so. There's no tension on it or anything. Makes it a little bit easier. There we go. Some people call themselves anglers. Just leave hooks laying about all over the place. <laughs>